The mentorship really helped me progress in terms of my skill. Before the mentorship, I actually could not finish any project. But thanks to the mentorship, uh, it gave me kind of like pressure to help me finish and product and commit to something. All my life, I've seen studying fashion designing because fashion industry is very big and everybody is doing so much. And so naturally, you feel like you have to compete with those big brands and you have to fit in into the society. But with this program, I have realized that I have to stay true to myself, to my own roots, to my own culture. I think the one thing that my mentor told me was that you don't have to take independent filmmaking as this literal term because when I did my other independent films, it was just a one-man crew. I was the cameraman, I was the editor, the actor also as well, but for this film in particular, I actually got to work with a crew and I would have never done that without Ray telling me, hey, you need people to work with. Throughout this mentorship program, I found out that execution is actually the key. I think we all have creativity in our minds, but the difficult thing is how can we deliver that message? What I wanted to make this exhibition about was the photos that I've taken during my uh, freelance photojournalism phase. But unfortunately, I'm not really able to show those photos without some sort of legal repercussion. So I've decided instead of censoring myself in the way that I will make this exhibition about photos I don't care about, I wanted to make this exhibition really truly about censorship and really drive the point across of why is this being censored? What are these photos? Since I saw it, they are amazing. So I would say it's a shame that we cannot show them. Uh, at the same time, the challenge was frustrating a bit because how can a photographer display your projects without showing their project. So what I've done is I've taken six black canvases, I've painted QR codes onto them, and you can scan the QR code and it takes you to my website where it'll lead you to a description of the photo, and you can read the photo uh, through that. You can read through the senses, through the sounds and sights and smells, and imagine it within your own brain. One of the things that we mentor can do for the mentees are connection. To empower our mentees, the most important thing is to connect them with our own network as well and see where they can go with that. 